Students, parents, and staff of the Black River Schools positioned themselves in downtown Spencer on a chilly Saturday, hoping to warm voters to the idea of passing a school levy. That hasn't been done here in 16 years. The district is seeking an 8.7 mil emergency operating levy that is expected to generate $1.6 million a year. Money levy supporters say would help restore the millions of dollars in cuts made in staff, programs, and services since 2004. We've cut about 83 teachers, so the, the class sizes have increased dramatically. Uh, we've lost our busing pay to play. That's now up to 375. They're talking about cutting some extracurricular activities, so we don't think that's good. The levy is tied to property taxes. It is estimated to cost the average homeowner of a $100,000 house an additional $22 a month. $22 a month extra isn't too bad for my kids' education. I don't think it's too bad. It went out sound a lot, a lot of money for a lot of people, but. And again, the retired folks that are on a fixed income, that's, that's quite a bit of money. Levy supporters fear what else is left to cut if the measure goes down to defeat again. A lot of people would open enroll to different schools and we would lose a lot of our enrollment, so our school could close. Ted Spees says he hopes the levy passes for the sake of his five grandchildren in the Black River schools. But he knows, as in years past, it will be up to the voters to decide when they go to the polls May 7th. SOS! Maria Scali, Fox 8 News, Spencer.